Uh, we were at uh, about 3,500 feet uh, when the trouble first occurred, and in the process of uh, trying to get enough power out of the remaining good engine and uh, get our weight down so that we could uh, maintain flying speed, we got down to approximately uh, 300 feet. Lieutenant, what sort of a flight were you on when you first noticed the engine trouble? Uh, we were on a uh, routine uh, patrol out here. How far south of San Diego were you? Uh, we were approximately uh, 510 miles uh, south of San Diego at the time we first had our trouble. What sort of trouble was it? Uh, we first had the uh, backfiring in our number one engine, and uh, next thing, uh, with the loss of power, uh, a fire started, and we had to secure the engine and uh, proceed back on the remaining good engine. At what altitude were you when you first noticed this trouble? The highest altitude you had on the way back? Uh, no, it wasn't. Uh, as we, our load uh, lightened, uh, we got up to about 500 feet. Baja, California. Approximately a little over 500 miles. Uh, four and a half hour. Four and a half hour flight. And what time did you touch down this morning? Approximately 5.45 this morning. And uh, where was it that you landed? In South Bay Sea Drive here at San Diego. Did uh, San Diego look pretty good to you this morning? Those lights look beautiful. <laughs> Is this uh, the first time either of you gentlemen have had a situation like this? Uh, unfortunately, no. <laughs> this just happened to us last Saturday morning. The same thing? Yes, the only way to, fortunately we were just off the coast here short ways and uh, we came right back and landed, no problems. So last Saturday was sort of a training run for this morning. Well, that's, uh, if you might say so, <laughs> that's poor training run. <laughs> We'd prefer not to get them like this. Gentlemen, thank you very much for talking with us. Thank you. Commander, uh, what do you do at a time like this? What's the first thing that happens uh, aboard a plane when you have engine trouble of this nature? Well, basically, we do what we've been trained to do, and that's to uh, prepare for the uh, single engine and that we would have to ditch. We uh, prepare ourselves to go in the water and uh, set our crew up in ditching stations. Uh, we determined we could stay in the air, and we, well, as Bob said, went ahead and jettisoned uh, what gear we could in the aircraft to get us down so we could stay in the air. But how much gear did you jettison? Well, it's uh, everything that was not tied down in the after station, some of it was tied down. Today, 33-year-old Lieutenant Robert Parsha from North Island, who had an unusual experience in perhaps uh, giving lessons in how to fly these giant P-5Ms with one engine. That was the unusual experience that brings Lieutenant Parshall to our cameras today. Lieutenant, what is the size and capability of this P-5M? Well, the P-5M is a quite a large uh, aircraft. Uh, we normally weigh about 75,000 pounds when we take off. It has a wingspan of over 110 feet. It uh, is strictly a seaplane and does not land on the land, so we operate on the water all the time. How many engines? It is a two-engine aircraft. How many men did you have aboard this morning? Well, we had 11 uh, people on board this morning uh, on this uh, patrol we were on. Where were you and at uh, what time did you first have trouble? Uh, we were 510 miles uh, south of San Diego about 1.30 uh, this morning when we ran into trouble. Uh, this uh, one engine all of a sudden backfired a couple of times and uh, began losing power. It uh, caught on fire momentarily, uh, which we extinguished it right away without any difficulty, and uh, then began the process of uh, jettisoning uh, different equipment to uh, make sure we could make it back to San Diego, as it was quite a long haul to go. Well, well you said jettison some equipment, for example. Uh, all the uh, stores that we carried, uh, we dropped uh, an external uh, fuel tank, uh, our searchlight, uh, electronic equipment that we carry aboard the aircraft, we uh, jettisoned most everything that we had. Was there any thought that you may have to abandon the plane? Uh, yes, there was. Uh, as we began, uh, <coughs> excuse me, had our trouble at uh, 3,500 feet to begin with, and we descended to uh, 300 feet before we were able to uh, maintain that altitude on the way back. And of course, uh, when you've already lost one, there certainly is a possibility that you might lose the other one since you're running it a little extra hard to make up for the one that's out. And uh, it's subject to some serious thought as you're going along uh, over the water at uh, 300 feet and it's dark out and uh, uh, you think all sorts of things. Uh, how was the weather? Uh, the weather, uh, fortunately, was real fine. It was clear. We had a nice moon for most of the time. It took us four and a half hours to come back and uh, the moon did go down, and then it was completely black out, and we couldn't see uh, anything. You had an escort, uh, did you not? Uh, yes, we did. After uh, about two hours, uh, a Coast Guard aircraft came out, 
another P-5M came out, uh, then another Coast Guard aircraft, and then finally uh, three helicopters joined up by Ream Field to make sure we had plenty of cover in case we, uh, we were forced to uh, land out at sea as fuel was a consideration. We were very short on fuel. Lieutenant Parshall, how did the crew react? Uh, the crew uh, reacted uh, very well. They uh, had a lot of work to do. Uh, they uh, set about it uh, as directed uh, expeditiously. Uh, the training that uh, we undergo uh, paid off uh, very well in this case. Have you had any similar experience to this? Well, similar. Uh, a few days ago I had a similar one in that the uh, engine did fail on me and I had to return to <laughs> North Island but uh, we were only 10 miles out then and uh, we didn't have any difficulty. I suspect you have a lot of respect for this P-5M aircraft. Oh, I respect the aircraft, uh, certainly, and it is a very fine aircraft. Uh, it performs uh, real well and it got me back and it must be pretty good. Congratulations, Lieutenant Robert Parshall, on a job well done. Thank you.